Okay, so continuing straight on from yesterday, I am exactly where I left off. So 1597. I play as white hair, opponent plays as Scandinavian. I'll take her and then I'll develop my knight hair. Okay, there's some sort of a gambit going on here. <laughs> and I don't know what sort of gambit it is, but should I just throw in the check first? Take and then develop. No, don't see the purpose. I think I'm just going to take because this, this is a bad pawn anyway. I know they're going to develop with tempo. I, I understand. But yeah, I'll just, I'll just get off and develop my piece as well so i mean it's kind of annoying now because my light squared bishop can't go in here so i think i will wait for the opponent to develop the knight to to pin them with my light squared bishop i'll get my knight out and then i think i could just throw this pawn into the mix or no just take some space in the center so i will and actually i could put my bishop here now because before it would have blocked the pawn now it won't i think the opponent's just getting ready to castle i've also noticed that i haven't won a 15 minute game in in an age I don't know what's going on. Oh, they're looking to discover, discover a check here. What's the discovery? I don't know. But I could just block it. Oh, I could just block it now. All right, fine. I'll just play this now and then get this bishop out and then castle. All right, get my other bishop out. I could go for a queenside castle as well. I think the opponent might be going for a queenside. If I do this knight move, I'm forcing the opponent to trade their dark squared bishop, which has a lot of scope. I think the opponent's looking to land their bishop here. Huh. Actually, wait, I could just play this with check. But I could just block with the pawn push. Or I could just, you know, play towards the center, stick to principles. I think this is better. Okay. So I'm not sure why they pre-moved that. Or, I don't know. Very confident. Could have played something like pawn c4. <laughs> I mean, yeah, let's, let's take this trade. Takes with the pawn. What? Or if I check, block, that seems okay. Okay, I'll just castle. If they want to take this, fine. But, you know, I'm going to end up in the same position where I have this weak pawn. And I just cannot defend it. You know, I stopped playing the Queen's, Queen's Gambit because I just couldn't defend backward pawns. It would just be really annoying to play with. Whenever I play a 15-minute game, I always end up with a backward pawn. I don't know how. You know, right away, this move here jumps out to me. Because I'm going to put pressure on this pawn. Or I could try pin this. And if I move back this, like if they play something like this, I'm happy to sacrifice. I'm going to play this just so... I mean, if this trade happens, yeah, I get a better piece. But I would have a backward pawn. It's kind of fucking <laughs> kind of cold, you know. I mean, I have a bishop pair. I do have a bishop pair. Also, I've opened the lines up here by moving this bishop. So I could bring my rook to e1. Also, pinning this minor piece too. And then might have a tactic here. I don't know. Yeah, might, might have something here. I don't know. Maybe I should have brought this rook behind the bishop first. Also, wait, I'm up a pawn? Oh, yeah, they sacrificed the pawn at the start. Pawn is really thinking here. A lot of the people that play 15 minutes that I've matched up against these last few days have been ridiculously good <laughs> i don't know they play like way above 1600 a lot of the time as well like when the game review comes so they predict them as like 2000s okay so we have a random pawn push after four minutes what's the aim here makes a hole here i mean i'm not interested on that side of the board i see a good attack on this side of the board right here i pin another piece restrict this piece as well so restricted pieces are targets as i'm sure you guys have watched that video of mine <laughs> I do want to play something like this to prepare this push. But if I play this, then this it will attack my good bishop here. And then I guess I come back to the starting square. Which looks very, very silly, may I say. Okay, they don't want me to play that. I think that was the idea. <laughs> what about this, then this? Take, take. I'll have two hanging pawns in the center. Not liking that. Take. Take, take, a rook and a bishop for a queen. Nah, this bishop is good, man. We don't want to give that bishop up. Is there a better way? If I could move this knight out of the way, I can just push. Because this can't take because it's pinned. What if I play this? Then I could just take this. Oh, and then I pin this to the, the rook as well. Oh, this looks good. If take, I take the queen. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I mean, if the queen tries to move out of the way, take, take back, and then I win the rook. Well, I could still take this, no? Okay, it takes with the bishop this time. So that does work. Hmm. Take, take the queen, maybe. Yeah, probably going to take the queen. I didn't consider that. Take, take the queen. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to just take this because this is pinned. This is pinned as well. So I'm not sure if it's the right idea to take. They, they can't take this. Still can't take it. So I don't think I have to do anything just yet. There's still ideas of B3, B3, C4. I don't know. I feel like that might take too long. Double up here? Do I just go for a queen side? I mean a king side attack, just throw pawns. It's really annoying how I can't reach these squares. I think we just double up. Why not? I think we just double up. I don't know what to do. Then I think I could play this now and take. But then this knight could move to discover and discover an attack. 
I'm not sure. <laughs> not the slightest clue. Okay, Rook enters the game. I think I'm obliged to play this move here. And also arm pins himself. So this is not pinned anymore. What could this knight do? Absolutely fuck all other than go backwards. So I could just... Yeah, I could just play this move here. This is still pinned. My bishop's still nice. So I think it's all cool. Okay, kicking the bishop. I think I should take this trade. Because this bishop isn't very good anyway. All my pawns are on dark squares. If I move back though, should I sack? Nah, it looks like it's defendable. I don't see the point. I'm just going to take. Actually, I could have targeted this pawn. Wow. Oh, I didn't see that. Like this way, this way. Get If I get pushed around. I could have targeted this. Maybe an inaccuracy there. I'm letting go of the pressure I had on the opponent. Something tells me to take, take, queen here. If they take, I take. And they probably want to defend this pawn, so move the recover. I can double up. Nah. Don't think so. This knight can just move here now, actually, because I just got rid of my dark squared bishop. I am up a pawn. So I'll take, take, here. They can just take, take, and then queen take. Then I could take this pawn, though. I don't know. Take, take, queen take, take. Defends. I can just go up here and try to grab this as well. All right, we're doing this. Let's just get on with it. I am up a pawn. I managed to maintain the one pawn advantage. So I'll go up here. Okay, moves over. Oh yeah, that's still defended. So I'm threatening main one if I move this knight. What about this? If, okay, if this, they come here. This is defended though still. I'm just gonna play this, bro. <laughs> I have six minutes on the clock. This this still this is still held. There's this pawn push to disconnect. But I could grab this pawn and then take this knight as I mean take this bishop as well if they take. It's pretty interesting. I didn't think of this actually. That may be annoying. I could play this pawn move. Okay, the queen wants to gobble all my queen side pawns. If I take, I'm threatening this bishop. And I could get my rook in. And I'm also threatening this. So I'm gonna take. I guess the bishop here could also defend this as well. But then I could just defend my pawn though. No? And I'll be I'll be up two pawns. Or I mean, well let's say they move. Can I play can I play f5 to threaten e7? Forking the king and the rook. Okay, so the rook attacked my queen. I can take, but I mean my whole structure here might fall apart though. I'm not sure if it's worth it. And I can also just defend. Pushes the pawn, let's say. I can just take this. Maybe. I'm going to defend. If I have to, I'll do a queen trade. There's also this. I, I mean, the problem is, because this queen's on the 7th rank, if I disconnect the rooks, I can't defend this pawn with the rook. Which would be, like, very annoying, to say the least. <laughs> this is still an idea. Yeah, why not do this first? I mean, that makes more sense. Looks like I, need, I might need a bit of some, some sort of a defense here. Now, I do want to move this knight, but I have to be careful of this threat. The checkmate threat on G2 still exists. Actually, I just realized I can't even do this. It literally just hangs my knight straight up. Wow, I've been think like I've been talking about that move for like four or five moves straight, which is like what five ten minutes. I've been considering this move, not seeing it, just hangs it. That's funny. One thing I didn't consider is rook to c4. Actually, then am I gonna ask for a trade? Take, take, and then the rook would have to move back or move somewhere else. I don't know. Definitely none of these squares here because my Pawn, the double pawn here after taking would cover these two and this pawn here will cover the b4 square okay got a pawn that's really taking their time here are they just gonna let their time run out are you for real bro oh my god <sighs> nice i hope that 85 in his username isn't the year he was born because that's fucking embarrassing that will make him 38 i mean he has a minute on the clock let me let me check his profile I feel like he's done he's done this multiple times. Let's see this. Lost there. Lost on time. Let, let's let's see this. The latest loss. All right, it makes me look like I'm cheating now because <laughs> I'm opening the game review. Uh, whatever. <laughs> what a waste of time. Yeah, hold that. And I'll send him a message calling him trash as well. Oh, he's played now. <laughs> With 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs> I think I'll counter attack. At least I got him to respond after seven minutes. I'll counter-attack. If takes, I take. And happy days. Now I'm going to give him something to think about so he does time out. So he was sitting there the whole time. 
He was sitting there the whole time. As soon as I messaged him, he wants to play. <laughs> man, some of these people, man, you can't make it up. I think I could still play this. What's he going to do? Move back? The thing is, if I play this, they just move. And then what? Should I just let him take? And attack? Actually, I'm attacking. Yeah, why not? I'm attacking this rook. So they can't take. So I'll just take. Yeah, I think from this point on, to waste as much time as possible, they're going to let their time go, get as low as possible and then they're going to play. Because, you see, the time gets low and then and then they play. That's that's the game plan for my, for my boy here. I mean, attack the bishop maybe? Or attack the bishop this way so I could give this check. Just attack the bishop. Remember, I mean, I have to remember that this piece is here as well. <laughs> I just want to blonde or something now after talking all that shit. I move back. Now that's a piece, isn't it? So I will take it. It's going to get to like three seconds and then they're going to play. Nah, no. alright. Not this time. I didn't even play that well. Like if the opponent just played on, it would have been fine. So here we are. Cool. This is alright. It's a mistake. Yeah. Wasn't a fan of that move. Just wanted me to castle. But why was that so bad? It doesn't seem like a mistake to me. Anyways, here we are. I take, that was the best move. The take of the pawn, that was the best move, which is odd. Okay. So I'm completely winning. I pin here, which is an inaccuracy. I should have just played this right away, huh? To kick it somewhere else. And then this, to move out the way and then take the firewall, I assume. Is that the idea? I need more moves, fella. Okay, push the pawn. Okay, completely just give up that good bishop, apparently. And then, yeah, take the file. Yeah. Okay, so this this is the move order here. So after pushing the pawn, they take my bishop here, light square bishop, trade. Or apparently this, the other line was showing me showing me this bishop going backwards, but okay. Um, and then we take the firewall, I assume, and the king, queen moves somewhere else, but whatever. I think, yeah, that was just the plan, just to take space. And then my pawns could have been connected, so I just didn't want to give up my bishop. But yeah, I, I get it. Alright. Mini inaccuracy here. Connect my pawns. Trade. Best move. That trade was the inaccuracy. What's the best move for me? Oh. Just. Just go for a. Okay, I guess we're trying to get a pass pawn and open up files, I guess. But what if they push? Yeah, all that. This seems a bit awkward to me. I don't know about I don't know about you guys, but trade. Okay, best move. Take. Wait, this that was the best move from my opponent apparently. I thought that was a mistake. Anyways, I take that pawn. Okay, that's a mistake and I and I missed something here. You want me to play this? It's a blunder. Yeah, 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 that is a blunder. You just want me to take the pawn? I mean, there's there's not many options there. This way. Why is this? Wait, why is this fine, but this isn't? They both give this pawn up. The only difference I see is this is lined up with the square here, so I could threaten checkmate. Okay, so that pawn push happens, I assume, preventing my knight to... That pawn push happens to prevent my knight from getting into f5. I think that's that's what I get from that. Because let's say takes... Yeah, f5 pushes and I've just oh yeah then there's this fork um except I just this this queen is hanging <laughs> so yeah all right I think I get it so I think here I just need to understand I should have seen this night sequence sooner or I did see it I just didn't I should have thought about supporting it this way yeah yeah okay anyway I move back so I miss a blunder. Do you know why it's a blunder? Because <laughs> take, 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 take. Wait, that's fine. What am I talking about? Yeah, okay, take. Take, take. And then, yeah, they grab that pawn. Yeah, yeah, okay, I didn't, I didn't see. I thought it was going to be a rook down, but no. They grab that pawn, but why can't I just do this and grab this pawn? Because then I would, yeah, lose this. Gains a tempo on my knight and I actually won't have time to grab this because this is checkmate. Okay. Well, if my opponent didn't waste time, they would have seen it. Not my problem. And yeah, here we are. This is a mistake. I guess this was a move again. To just try threatening something. 
and then they just hung a piece and hanged up. <laughs>